Welcome to the Royal Victoria Marathon! Oh, that guy, he's, he's, he's heading out! Here, he's, he's heading out! out. <laughs> he's gonna get third. of the 8K this morning at the Royal Victoria Marathon, and I have a feeling you're related. Would that be true? Yes. What's your name? Matthew. 
And what's your name? Christine. Where are you from? From Pell River. Aha. Uh -huh. So what, what? it looks like you ran the race together. We did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Who was faster? Uh, she was ahead of me for most, but I caught up to her. You caught up to her? <laughs> yeah. I think Mom's pretty fast because she's got a Boston Marathon shirt on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was last year. But no, we've been training together, and we're uh, we're pretty pretty close to the same pace now. <laughs> Is this the first time you've run a race together? Um, it's probably the first official. We've run a couple in Powell River together, but this is the first big run with a bib and everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a pretty exciting event, so congratulations both of you, and have fun the rest of the day watching all those other people still out there. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks. One of the really fast finishers at the Royal Victoria Marathon 8K this morning. What's your name? Melanie McQuaid. And Melanie, where are you from? Victoria, BC. Have you run this race before? I have. Yeah, I think I've run it quite a few times, actually. Okay, so it looks like you uh, had that course just nailed. Can you tell us about your uh, strategy today? Actually, I tried to go out with the women's leader, Rachel, and uh, I'm in pretty hard training mode. I have a world championship in two weeks, and, uh, and so she uh, spat me out the back which uh, was a good experience. It was pretty fun, and uh, I'm just happy to have uh, really good local events like this to uh, help get ready for, uh, for my primary focuses. Oh, tell us about your world championship and what's coming up. Um, I race off-road triathlon, so uh, the world championships for that is on Maui in two weeks, and uh, this kind of just puts the cherry on top of my preparation for that, and um, I'm looking forward to a good race there. Well, that's very exciting. The weather's a little bit cooler today than you'll get in Maui. But... Oh, I'd say, yeah, but we've had a beautiful fall, and today was perfect uh, conditions, and we had a lot of really fun people lining the course today. It was a really good time. Well, congratulations. You had a wonderful time. I am not exactly exactly sure what it was, but it looks like you should do really well in Maui. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. We have here one of the folks who just finished the 8K today at the 30th annual Vic Royal Victoria Marathon. And what's your name? Uh, Gabe Levesque. And where are you from, Gabe? Uh, originally from Kamloops, but I've been here for 10 years. Ah, uh, okay. So here being Victoria? Absolutely, yes. Okay. So this is a hometown race for you? Pretty much. Have yeah. you done it before? Uh, I have in the past. And I actually took a running room clinic for the half marathon, but I was a bit lazy and didn't register in time. <laughs> so uh, I signed up for the 8K, but it means I get to run with my daughter in the kids' race this afternoon. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, she's only two, so I suspect she'll run for a bit, and then she'll stop and I'll have to carry her, and then she'll run a bit more. Well, we had kind of fun watching you cross the finish line because you really poured it on the last couple hundred yards there. Well, my general rule is to always have a bit of energy for the end. One last little sprint. So. Well, it showed. <laughs> you were really passing people there. Oh, thanks very much. What do you like about the course? Uh, the scenery, the sunrise this morning. Oh, my gosh. Couldn't have asked for a better day. And just the camaraderie. And there's a stormtrooper over on uh, mile zero dressed all in like a stormtrooper from Star Wars. Hilarious. <laughs> so there's these characters out, too. There were some ladies with lobster hats. So overall, it's just a fun, fun event. You know. Sounds like you had had uh, just enough time to be basically take it all in and that sort of thing. Absolutely. Good luck with your daughter later on this morning. Thanks very much. You're welcome. <laughs>